<laughs> Low community, you know everybody knows bigger is better in AI, no? Absolutely. But let's do some real benchmark, no? And we can go with a very simple example of an elevator. You simply go from floor 0 to floor 50. The buttons are a little bit strange in this elevator because there is only limited energy available, so the minimal stops win. This is all there is. Solve it and you're the winner. Great. So, I take here the latest Mistral Small S3.2 24B, then the beautiful Sonnet 4, the gorgeous OpenAI O3, and the latest of Gemini 2.5 Pro. And I ask my friends, hey, what do you expect? Who will be the winner? And this is here from a very short uh, summarization. This is it. So, let's do the test. And I know what you say. Hey, please show us this on some free providers. Do not use a pro version or an ultra version because we want to replicate your test. We want to see this ourselves. And I think this is a great idea. So I have to find free providers for this. Let's start Mistral Small 3.2 24B. Here we are at Open Router. Thank you, Open Router. Mistral Small, the 3.2 24B free. Great. Here we have one. So I already put in my test. So let's see what happened. Strategy development, okay, potential code, card acquisition path, beautiful. Here are all the functions of the buttons that you can press. The initial attempt started floor zero, beautiful. And you see it's just trying out some combination. This is not helpful, maybe press some alternative. This is cycling, not efficient. Another initial sequence is tried. Now I have the blue code card and another code card, great. So you see, it's trying to come to a conclusion, verify the optimality, it's rather fast as you can see, and here we have a final answer given with 11 steps, and I say, hey, wait a minute, I just noticed, yeah, 11 is not perfect, okay, I can reset here some of the modalities, so let's have another optimized final sequence with 10 steps. And here you have it now, 10 steps, isn't this great? Summary shows us here clearly, everything is green, everything is perfect. We have a proof of optimality. Yes, beautiful resource is optimal. And thus this solution is a Pareto optimal solution with 10 steps for a small model. Great. But what about a big one? What about O3? Now let's run this here in lmarena.ai. I waited 20 minutes. I have now a new sequence. This is the exactly identical test. And now you see here exactly. I want to see here everything that is happening. Great. Yes, all the code cards are required. And after nine steps, I have the merchant exit to floor 50. Yes, that looks great. So final scorecard, I reach the floor, I have enough energy, I have all the tokens, I have all the code cards, I have not used any traps. Great. Optimality sketch, why no better, strictly better run exists. At least two code cards are compulsory. This is the correct statement. It analyzes now the greed code card. And then about the card in relation here to some of the button presses. Never mind, it is correct. It really analyzed here the logical dependencies that exist between the code cards and the button presses on the elevator. And what's really interesting also here in point five, you see emergency exit is by definition a unique legal single press path from floor 29 to 50, putting it all together. And it found now a solution that is now a nine press solution. So we are better than the European model, the 24B. So O3 is great, but let's have a look at Sonnet 4. No? And here we go at the ARC AGI leaderboard. And let's have a look which Sonnet model we're going to take. Now, AGI 1 is this, but we go for the heavy one, AGI 2. And oh, here you have all the models. Here the O3 Pro medium, the O3 Pro high. Look at this. But you know what? Claude 4 Sonnet thinking 16 is even better than the O3 Pro in this AGI 2 test. O3 high is even better. Sonnet 4 thinking 8K, Sonnet 4 no thinking. Here you have the performance differences, the score on the y-axis, you see, 
those are the best models for AGI too. So let's go with Sonnet 4 thinking 16K or Opus 4, hey, that would be. But O3 Pro is not that good. You know what? We go with thinking 32K. We double here this thinking amount of token. And yes, we are back here. I put in here exactly this model and you can run this for free here on this platform. Beautiful. So let's have a look. The goals here is reach floor 50, code acquisition. You are familiar with this. And we have here by the biggest thinking 32K model, an 11 step solution. Okay, and you see, oh, this is overshooting. It reached the goal, but this is an illegal move. Total prices are 11, final resources are okay. Resource requirements are okay, code requirements are okay. Why this solution is Pareto optimal? <laughs> this is not correct, no, sorry. But a very nice structure, no? Resource efficiency, code efficiency, risk avoidance. Hey, this is a beautiful presentation. Unfortunately, incorrect, but it's it's beautifully structured. No? Alternative path considered, but rejected. Here you have the emergency exit at 29. It was not able to integrate here a solution to this. It tells me, hey, this 11 press is the operator optimal. If I crash through the roof, and then I just fly out in space and I come back and yeah. Let's code O3. Let's see if we have here, we ask here O3, come up now with a code solution. I accelerate this at 300% so that we don't have to wait here several minutes. You see O3 is here generating here a code for us given here my elevator test. And yeah, can you imagine how boring it was in real time? Never mind. I'm glad that this is here a free open source platform where we are allowed to test O3 models and you don't have to pay for the Pro or for the Ultra or whatever. Yes, so we have nine press solution is for O3, the best one. And I just put it in a Colorblad notebook and the code is not working. Not at all. There are multiple mistakes in this code. So it's not really that the code is immediately operational. You would have to work with this. So here we have it. Mistral, 10 step, Sonnet, 11 step, Open, 03, 9 step, and a code failure. So let's take Gemini 2.5 Pro. Let's see if it's better or whatever. So we go here to Google AI Studio. You know, this is free. So an open platform, free. And as you can see here, Gemini 2.5 Pro, I activated the syncing mode, I give the syncing budget to 32K, like Sonnet 4, identical conditions, but I say no code execution. This we will do in two minutes time, but for the moment, don't code, just sync. So I want here that the parameterized knowledge of Gemini 2.5 Pro is doing here all the work. You see, I don't see the reasoning process. I just see I'm evaluating, I'm verifying, I'm verifying. Unfortunately, Google, I do not like this. Show me the real reasoning path. Don't be afraid. So, and here we have now a new solution here by Gemini. And Gemini gives us here a 10-step solution. Proof of optimality, Pareto optimal. It gives beautiful explanation, shortest path. I like this. Why it has the highest score. There's a good explanation about this. And then, you know, I say, I take the O3 nine-step solution. I say, hey, is this a valid solution? So I'm teasing a little bit here, Gemini, I think, hey, O3 found a solution. I think it's better than your solution. So let's see how the system reacts. Is it trying to negotiate with me like O4 mini and trying to lie or find interpretation? How is here Gemini 2.5 Pro behaving if I show it a better solution? Looks at this, analyzes it, it, says, nine, yeah, is it a valid solution? Yes, it's valid and a successful solution. Let's check it against all the goals and the sub goals. And you get even a comparative analysis. This is the new versus the old. So impress us here. Your solution is the winner in the final energy packages, your solution, the final tokens. Gemini is a winner, and then we have a tie for the traps and everything. Your proposed sequence is, in fact, a superior solution. Your solution is strictly bad on the primary metric, fewer presses. 
your path is more efficient because it finds a faster way to acquire the green code card. Great, I like it. And then I have here a seven-step solution. Let's just say maybe a O3 Pro just happened, but this is outside of the scope. So a seven-step solution. Let's have a look if Gemini 2.5 is able to see this. And what is happening now with a seven-step solution? Oh, sequence invalid. Attempted illegal move. Uh-oh, the elevator only has floor... 0 through 50 to go to the floor 63 is not allowed. Invalid sequence. The run fails at the seventh step. This is correct. So O3 Pro, <laughs> giving us a seven step solution, found a loophole and said, yeah, let's just put the <laughs> elevator outside of the building and it falls back. No. And then I make an experiment and say, hey, just assume that we would land on floor 50 in the seventh step. Otherwise, would it be here a correct solution? Would O3 Pro, which is not part here of this video, would it theoretically have found a solution? If I ignore this one fact only, and the solution is yes, under the specific experimental condition, this would be here a valid solution. So O3 Pro, clever. You banded the rules and you invented that it just... The elevators fly outside of the buildings. Now I give it here the O3 code and I say, look at it, what is it? In Gemini 2.5 Pro, and you see now we have code execution activated here on the right hand side. Yes. Now it's looking at the code. It is evaluating O3 code structure. Beautiful. Running through this in real time. Assessing here the implementation accuracy, assessing here the logic implementation. And you see, it's just standard sentences. I am revisiting. I'm now focusing. Google, give me the real reasoning traces, please. Bugs and logical errors. So identify three code errors. Minor bug. Errors for improvement. Conclusion. Once these bugs are fixed, it would be a correct and a powerful tool to verify this. So I say, fix the code and run it. So now I take the incorrect code from O3, I ask Gemini 2.5 to correct the code, and then run the code and see what is happening. Gemini tells me, okay, I've corrected now the code, updated the code, now the code should run, and here we are now at code execution phase. Great. And here we are now, seven steps. But those seven steps are exactly the seven steps that we found from the O3 Pro that was incorrect. And now look, it tells me, hey, the illegal move to 63 is automatically corrected to the legal landing on floor 50. So in the code of O3 is now a code sequence that says, yes, I insert an illegal move that will make here this out-of-bound move handler legally allowed. O3, you're, you're really canny. So you see, we found a seven-step solution also now with Gemini. But since Gemini is relying on the O3 code, it did not understood immediately that this is an illegal move. And I tell it, hey, the handler here for out-of-bound move is not allowed and therefore you have to delete this code sequence. Run the corrected code again. Gemini 2.5 Pro comes back and says, okay, I now eliminate this out-of-bound condition by O3, and let's see what we can achieve. So it implemented here kind of a illegal move in the code to find a better solution. O3, you are a very special AI system. Okay, so we have now the new code, you see, 44 seconds. And thinking is done, verify the solution, success, and what do we have? Oh, we are back to a nine step. Oh no, fail to generate content. An internal error has occurred. You know, when I'm an inter, we do a rerun. Let's rerun everything, hopefully. This is a free platform, so yes, sometimes you run into some token limitations or whatever. So whenever I see this, I just put press rerun and... Okay, here we are again. Gemini 2.5 Pro live. 
is analyzing this now, is eliminating here this illegal move by O3, analyzing the code. I'm now meticulous reviewing the code again. Come on, Gemini, give me the real reasoning patterns. Not this, whatever this should be. Cannot work with this. Debugging now, beautiful. So you are correct. A handler that catches invalid moves and transforms them into valid ones is not permitted by the riddle rules. My apologies for the error in the previous run. Running the program now with the corrected, with the correction will yield the true optimal solution. Beautiful. Okay, we are 80 seconds in, no problem. This is a free platform. This is the code. Now we execute the code. Okay, take some time. 85 seconds, 88 seconds, come on buddy, and done. Hey, we have an eight step solution, nice. Analysis of the winning path. This path is superior to all the other discussed because it exploited a lockdown flag. Hey, it found the solution, wow. This is impressive. This is the best performance I've seen yet of any AI system I use. Look at the code, yeah, the ABC sequence, yeah. This is the pivot of the entire plan, yeah? but an F costs zero energy tokens and toggles the lockdown flag on. And with the lockdown flag on, button A behavior changes. And now we have a shortcut to the final floor. Beautiful. This is absolutely Beautiful, it found the hidden solution. And I run this here on a collab and you see, yes, it was performed in one second and it is the correct solution. So the winner is Gemini 2.5 Pro with eight steps with code. And here you have it. The idea is put more solver in the environment. You can make the LLM smaller and then even add another AI that we still have to develop to really increase the performance of artificial intelligence. If you like to see more videos like this, why not subscribe? And I see you in the next one.